All right, we are going to dive deep today into the nomination of Pete Hegseth as Donald Trump's Secretary of Defense. It turns out that this is not only a bad nomination, it turns out that not only is this nomination borderline dead, and we will get to that. It turns out that this nomination is actually emblematic of a lot of what we've talked about with regard to MAGA, which is that politics makes strange bedfellows or kind of in Trumpian speak. All that really matters is loyalty and a particular type of hardcore brown nosing loyalty to Donald Trump. Video of Pete Hegseth trashing Donald Trump has resurfaced. Now, I'm going to tell you up front because we're going to be looking at a lot of different aspects of this, including that they pulled out Pete Hegseth's mommy to beg Donald Trump, please hire my son. Pete Hegseth's nomination by Trump to be a secretary of defense is on its last leg. By the time today's show is out, he may have withdrawn. We will get to that. We're already seeing names floated as replacements. Fox News's Pete Hegseth is now sort of in hot water after an old video of him going right after Donald Trump. And I have to say, with pretty accurate criticisms, has resurfaced. And in this clip, Pete Hegseth calls Trump uh, all bluster, true, low substance. That's true. An armchair tough guy. That's true. And even goes after uh, Trump's infamous attacks on John McCain. So take a listen to this. But it's typical Trump, all bluster, very little substance. He talks a tough game, but then when pressed on it, he's an armchair tough guy. I hate to say it, but this is a guy who said who said that uh, John McCain is not a war hero, yet he sought his own five military deferments. That's right. All accurate, salient criticisms of Donald Trump. Why would Pete Hegseth want to be the secretary of defense? the second in command of the military behind the commander in chief of someone that he believes has been so disrespectful to veterans and to the military, as Pete Hegseth previously accurately pointed out. Now, this is not just a PR nightmare for Pete Hegseth. This is yet another reminder that it's all completely transactional for MAGA. Pete Hegseth, with a long track record of views about foreign policy, completely antithetical to Trump's latest stated views, a view of Donald Trump from Pete Hegseth that is completely opposite to this guy's a patriot that I would want to work for. And it's all brown nosing sycophancy and transactional nature of MAGA politics. Loyalty to Trump is not about ideology. It's not about principles of foreign policy or respect or whatever. It is unflinching loyalty to the orange man himself. And when you start to see the cracks appear the way we're seeing it right now, the fallout is typically swift and unforgiving. Now, as of right now, Trump is standing behind Hegseth to the extent that he stands behind anybody. Um, Hegseth is still in the process of this nomination, but we are starting to hear rumors of possible replacements. Uh, Ron De Sanctimonious is one person who is now being considered for Secretary of Defense. Joni Ernst, the uh, Republican senator from Iowa, is reportedly being considered as a replacement. So we are probably going to find out in the next 12 to 24 hours. You may already know by the time you listen to today's show. What is the future of the Hegseth nomination? But imagine that the guy Hegseth has spent years defending after he used to criticize him is reportedly already shopping around for a shinier, more loyal sycophant. But it doesn't just end here in terms of the humiliation for Hegseth. There's more. I think one of the most interesting recent developments in medicine is our new understanding of how metabolism impacts aspects of our health. And that's why I love our sponsor, Lumen. Lumen's the world's first handheld metabolic coach. Quite simply, it's just a device that measures your metabolism through your breath. And on the app, it'll tell you if you're burning fat or carbs. And on that basis, it'll give you tailored guidance with the goal of improving nutrition, workouts, sleep even stress management. All you have to do is breathe into your lumen first thing in the morning. 
You'll know what's going on with your metabolism, whether you're burning mostly fats or carbs. And then Lumen will give you a personalized nutrition plan for the day that's based on those particular measurements. Now, you can also breathe into it before or after workouts and meals, which gives you other sets of actionable insights. Your metabolism is like your body's engine. It's how your body turns food into fuel and it keeps you going and feeling good. And Lumen will give you a better understanding of that. Go to lumen.me slash Pacman to get 15% off your Lumen. The link is in the description.